Hey guys, it's Becky here, Aunt Bex Creation. Sorry about the wet hair, but um, I had to wash it this morning. I didn't wash it last night and I just wanted to get it washed. I'm just coming on to do my kind of weekly uh, health update and to give y'all uh, just an idea of what I have ahead. Got new glasses. Can't figure out where to look when. Um, the top up here is if I want to look way over there. But if I want to look at you or my computer screen, I, there's like this area in between the lens. These are progressive lenses that I need to use that. But then to read, I got to kind of tilt my head down and look down here at the bottom. And the thing, the actual lens kind of is like, and it goes in the middle here. But I got the widest window. It's going to take some getting used to, and yesterday I went to visit my mom to see how she was doing, and my nieces and nephews were there, and I took the girls outside, and Lexi, the German Shepherd, she's still a puppy, and um, the baby, um, Madeline, she wanted to blow bubbles, so we all went outside, and we were blowing bubbles and uh, having such a great time. But the one that had the most fun with the bubbles, yep, yeah, you guessed it, it was Lexi, the German Shepherd. <laughs> she was chomping them and jumping and flipping, and I had to fuss at her a couple times because she jumped so close to the baby that she nearly knocked her down. She did knock her down once, but I told her, you know, you can't get near the baby, and she was she listens really well. Um, she's, she's a pretty good dog. And um, she took to me and kept following me around and stuff. And I'm a cat person, so who knew? But um, I think she's got a really good temperament. And she was good with the kids. So mom's doing okay. She needs to take more time for herself to heal. And um, just, you know, just stand up for herself a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fuss at my mama online. But um, she needs to take her time to heal. I mean, they cut it, her knee wide open. I mean, it's not going to happen overnight. You got to really focus on the exercises that you're doing with no distractions. You really need to just focus straight in on that. It's the only way that's going to heal properly. That's enough of that. Um, now my own health, which is a lot more anxiety ridden for me. I'm going to take these off because the light over there is shining right into them and really bothering me. So, um, May 3rd, I'm going to have my very first colonoscopy, which is such a joy to look forward to. And uh, we had to go to the drugstore and get all the stuff, the Miralax and the uh, Dolgalax and all of that stuff they make you take. And I told Scott, I said, you know what? I said, instead of us having to look for this list of stuff that the doctors gave to us, the drugstore should get on board and create a colonoscopy prep kit with the 64-ounce Gatorade, the Dulcolax, the Miralax, the other bottle of clear stuff that they made me get, and just sell it as a colonoscopy kit. So, hello, pharmacy companies. Come up with a prep kit that has Gatorade and all those other things in it. It will make the stress a whole lot less, and it will make the procedure a whole lot less stressful. All you have to do is walk into the drugstore, buy the, the kit, go home, start following the instructions, and you're ready to go. That Having to look all over, I know they're all right in the same place, but if I could just go in and say, there's a kit, I'm out. Um, never did find a 64-ounce uh, Gatorade or Powerade. I have to do the Powerade because I have to have one without the sugars because I'm a diabetic. Never did find it. So I have two 32 ounces and I told Scott, I said, what I'll do is I'll pour four ounces off each one and split the Miralax powder between the two. I'm going to drink it all anyway, whether it's in one or two bottles of Gatorade or Powerade, it, it doesn't matter. So, and then we're shopping for clear, clear liquids, apple juice, grape juice. I don't know what we, what else we bought. I just have to be so careful about keeping those sugar levels down because I don't want to spike my sugar levels and then go into the hospital to have this done and have them check my sugar and say, oh, she needs insulin and give me a shot of insulin. It'll make me feel bad. Anyway, 
Um, that's the 3rd of May. Now, they wanted to do my hernia repair, which I have an umbilical hernia. I, you've probably seen it in some of the videos. It's quite um, large at the top of my, my belly. And um, the surgeon, he uh, had me lay down and he pressed and pressed and he said that part of it is caught. Part of it will not go back into the cavity. So I have to have this repair done as soon as possible. And he said, if you do it within a week of the colonoscopy, you'll only have to do one set of paperwork. So they wanted to do the hernia repair on May 11th. And I said, no, let's not do that because that's my 31st wedding anniversary and I don't really want to be in the hospital having this done on my anniversary. So I'm having it the day after. So May 12th. I'll be going in. It's outpatient, they said, and I made him aware that I did have a horrible time with vasovagal, um, and he told me that when I talk to the anesthesiologist that I need to let him know, and there's a medicine they can give you to help you with that, so hopefully I won't have that happen again, and I'll be able to have it done and then come back to the cottage uh, we will be staying up here because the hospital I'm having this done is in the town where we will be moving to our next permanent home, you know, in the future. So we're just trying to get all established down there. And um, my mother-in-law, she wants to come up and be with Scott in the waiting room and to be there because she's really nervous about about this surgery for me she she just wants to be there so i told her i said you can come up and she said i'll stay in a motel because y'all don't have a you know like a spare bed in the cottage so she's gonna stay at a motel and come over early and um we're go down to the hospital so we are um got all of that on our plate um so i'm gonna try to get my challenges done this week and next week, I have um, two weeks basically to pull everything together and get all of the challenges done that I've signed up to do that are in my um, challenge, challenge and giveaway playlist. If you go to that, you can see the ones that um, I have already completed under the notes. I have put notes. So if you think I've done yours, um, check that. Uh, Brenda. Brenda, your little um, card for your Rolodex is still sitting on the table um, because I want to make you a birthday card. So that'll be on my plate for today, too. But I'm going to get these rubber stamps dealt with um, before then. As far as everything else, um, oh, the right eye issue. I have um, been having some swelling problems trying to adjust to these glasses. But I've had some harsh feelings before, but if they continue, I will be calling the eye doctor back. Now, she gave me a Vena Weva. Uh, it's a spray, and you spray it on a little cotton pad, and then it's to clean your lashes. Um, and it clears off that crusty stuff I get in my, on my eyes at night that's um, actually from the diabetes changing that fluid. So I got that and I used some this morning and it just feels so much better, so much better. And I've been using the refresh drops at night. She did give me a sample of some I can use for during the day, but during the day I don't seem to have a problem with the fluid on my eyes, it's only overnight. So we'll see, and um, if it becomes a problem, I have the sample, you know, here to fall back on. Uh, I guess that's it for the health update. Um, I really think that's it. And I hope you all have a wonderful week, and thanks for being there for me, and all the positive comments, and people with care and concern have been overwhelmingly wonderful, and... I wish the best for those that are also struggling with the medication level and the amount of medications. Um, this getting older stuff, Scott's uncle used to say, getting old's not for sissies. 
And you know, Uncle Jesse was right. And being here in his house is kind of comforting for me because I feel like he's here with me during the day and just keeps me company. I know that might sound weird, but it's nice to have him, his, his energy around me. So I guess I'm going to let you guys go before I get too sappy. <laughs> Take care. Leave a comment. Bye.